I'm Thomas Tebbe from Pipa Verlag in Munich. And I was about to say we are really old. Um, given the standards that my colleagues set now, we are relatively old. 111 years of publishing. Uh, we were founded 2000, uh, 1904 by this gentleman, Reinhard Pieper, and in this way were a very typical German publishing house because he learned uh, the book selling trade and then turned his company into a publishing house <coughs> and started out by doing mainly art, Der Blaue Reiter, Kandinsky, that were people uh, we published and we actually still have the copies in our archive. He also did a lot of uh, fiction like Dostoevsky in the first translation in Germany and kept on doing particularly uh, musical non-fiction and um, German and Italian fiction like Ingeborg Bachmann or uh, Tomasi di Lampedusa. Um, after 90 years, like many German publishing houses, uh, this privately owned business had to be sold. In our case, it was to Bonja Publishing Sweden, uh, who kept us very independently minded uh, when they bought the company in 95. Um, since then, uh, this very charming office has seen a lot of uh, imprints emerging, uh, all of which I've listed here, people, fiction still is the core the business of our publishing house. Malik is doing uh, traveling and adventure. Pendo is our uh, commercial imprint with uh, 20 commercial genre fiction titles each year. Uh, we have uh, this rather well-known uh, adventure list, National Geographic, which also has a magazine to it. Uh, we have very newly established a fantasy list, and most recently uh, we bought the Berlin Publishing Company and Bloomsbury, uh, which you heard about earlier today. Uh, when I was asked to put our company's history and my personal favorites into four slides, uh, I had a hard time choosing those four. Um, I tried to be representative in some way and today the core uh, identity of people still is uh, fiction and series non-fiction, one of which is this book uh, I did three years ago. Robert Enke is, uh, some of you might know him, or was a German goalkeeper and this book very intricately uh, retells his story and the story of his depression. So it's a book that combines popular uh, knowledge with uh, series non-fiction like psychology and sociological themes. So beside non-fiction we do uh, a broad list of fiction titles uh, all from upmarket fiction to uh, literary fiction. The most important one uh, of the last years is Ferdinand von Schirach. He has been translated into 38 languages. <laughs> Uh, and I think he was published by the Arbeitersberg in uh, Holland. I don't know uh, how big his success was. In Germany, uh, he couldn't be bigger. We published him uh, this book in 2009 uh, and have managed 400,000 copies till today of a short story collection, uh, which is partly due to uh, his brilliant language, but also to the fact that most of these stories have actual uh, backgrounds in real life because the, uh, the author is an attorney at law and tells or retells things he has seen uh, in his working life. That was it and now I give over to my next uh, colleague.